Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome, welcome back. A bit of a late one today. I'm here with some, I'm going to make some tags. I just fancied doing some, uh, yeah, collage. So I'm going to do some collage tags. I know I've done collage tags before, but I'm going to do this in a bit of a different style to my normal stuff. I've got some very pale, it's more like an off-white off -white cardstock. I'm going to be using my tea dye ink to do the inking for a change. So I'm going to start off doing that straight away. I've got an assortment of fussy cut flowers that I didn't fussy cut. I've been playing with my cricket. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the first crafting I've done today because I've been messing with cricket for hours and cutting bits out when I finally got it to work properly. I don't know what's up with my cricket. I think it has face on because it's been in the cupboard for too long, it really does. So, yeah, I don't know if you can even see that inking, can you? Yeah, just quite pale. I think I might go further on to the tag, actually. I can see it a bit more. Yeah, so I've just got some basic tags. I was tempted to buy one of those tag punches that cut this shape, then I thought, you nah, know, use your Cricut. That's what it's there for. It's just one of shapes, it's a, it's a Cricut Access shape. So if you've got the monthly subscription to Access, it will be free, or it could be about a pound. If you wanted to use that, if you've got a Cricut, or just do any tag shape you want. It's more of a craft with me today than a tutorial. So I'm just going to get a couple of them inked up before I start doing some... Yeah, I keep wanting to call it decoupage, and it's not, it's collage. Collage, <laughs> not decoupage. Right, that'll do me for now. Yeah, I, I don't think me, you know, to fussy cut things with my crickets. I've got one. I mean, it's I've had it a long time. It's it's one of those things you buy. You, you watch uh, your ideal world, and they tell you how fabulous it is, and they tell you you need it, and you've got to have it. And it's always on monthly payments, so you buy one, and then you've got it, and you think, right, what am I going to do with this now? I've tried to cut the tags the right size for my fussy cuts, but I failed with that one. I thought that would be big enough for it, but it would be nice. But I don't know if I'm going to even fit an hole in if I use it. We'll see. We'll see. I've got my faithful collage box out with all my little bits and bobs in. I've sort of turned them sideways so I can see what I'm grabbing better. So I just always start by grabbing some random stuff and ripping it. I'm liking strips on my collage lately. Don't know why. I just do. Eee. Yeah, a quick note on my tabs that I did on my Cricut. I've been telling people, yeah, the free message me for link. And yeah, I've just found out that they're not actually free on Cricut because I've used a shape. When I've designed them, that is no longer free. That is now part of Cricut Access. Or if you haven't got it, it will cost you about a pound. So, yeah. So if anyone's had the tags off tabs from me and thought, cheek, they are, I am being charged. It's not actually me charging you. It's Cricut because I've used that shape. I haven't got round to redesigning them without that shaping. I will do, just using free shapes. But what I have done in the meantime is I've done two new files with assorted sizes on so that you don't have to buy all three for, to get the different sizes if you know what I mean. I, I'm, I'm sure you can resize them anyway. I'm saying sure, I'm not sure actually. Uh, I think you should be able to so you should only need to get one of them anyway. Right I've got a few bits and bobs and I'm going to start sticking them on. Ooh eagle eyed amongst you might have spotted. This is a completed Sudoku yeah. So <laughs> finally did finish one in that book. And it, well, I just flew through it, I don't know. I don't know if I'm having a genius moment. Oh, I need to get bits off that. It's got some little bits on from last time I used it. I'll tell you what they are, the bits of doily. I used some green doily. Oh, might be nice on here, a bit of green doily. I shall see. I don't know if I've got one close enough to hand, actually. I'm down to my last few. Need to buy more. Right, I'm going to do a little bit of inking on my collage today, I think. Yep, got the word right. It's very pale as this tea dyed, but I think that'll go well with these flowers. The flowers, by the way, are from a lady on Etsy called Eclectic Eggplant. 
yeah you can get them and fussy cut them or she specifically does them to cut with a cricket and they cut really well with a cricket yeah i've had others that don't cut so well so i get them from her one because they're lovely two because the price is fabulous and three because she states in a listing that they will work with your cricket I think I bought this set about six months ago and I've only just got round to actually cutting some out of my Cricut today. Yeah, that's me and getting round to doing things that sometimes. Cutting those out with my Cricut wasn't on my must-do list. It wasn't on my should-do list, it was on my could-do list, yeah. Right, a bit of this tea dyed paper, a little bit of green paper, I'm not even going to stress that that's wrinkled, she says, I'm trying to straighten it out, using my favourite glue again, my Elmer's, yes, yeah, so, that's that, what else do I want to mention, a few things, oh yeah, um, a lovely lady called Karen as she's left a lovely message on my last video saying she really likes my stuff the prices in my Etsy shop are really reasonable but the postage is far too expensive and yeah I agree <laughs> yeah right the thing with my Etsy shop is I cannot find a way to put my postage so that for overseas orders it will charge you the correct postage on multiple items and that is because I sell some really heavy stuff and some really lightweight stuff I sell like you know half kilogram boxes of paper and then I'll sell like eyelash trim that weighs like 10 grams and what happens on Etsy you can set it so that yeah you pay full price for one item and then it's like a percentage of the price or a certain amount for a second item but what it does not take into account then is that some things are heavy and some things are light. I'm going to use a bit of Edith Holden here. So if the first thing you put in your basket is some eyelash trim, that'll be like, yeah, the cheapest rate for large letter to the US is £4. So if you were to buy one eyelash trim off me, yeah, it's going to come up and try and charge you £4. When I can actually fit about six or seven of those in for the same £4. And I do state on my listings that I do refund the difference. And I do, I spot it most of the time. If I don't spot it, just message me, I'll do it, yeah. Or if you want to know how much something would be with the postage, just send me a message on Etsy, off Etsy. If you do it on Etsy, they'll take 10%. <laughs> if you do it off Etsy, we'll share that 10%. So it'll be 5% cheaper for both of us. Yeah, and I, I just invoice through PayPal. So yeah, that is the reason why. So yeah, you put an eyelash trim in your basket. Oh, I like that one on there. It'll charge you the four pounds. Then if I've got it set to just charge 50% on the second item, you'll stick a great big box of paper in that actually costs eight pounds to send all on its own. And it will just charge you four pound. So you can see problem there, can't you? I will have, eight pound it's about 850 to pay on postage but etsy will have only charged you six pounds and yeah also our post prices are pretty strange in uk it trots along nicely going up gradually up to like 750 grams for a large letter once that parcel gets a tiny little bit bigger it jumps up from about 10 pounds to like 22 it's like whoa steady on so it's really difficult and rather than end up eating beans on toast all the time undercharging i've just got it set to overcharging i'm afraid i quite like that yeah so it will overcharge you but yeah i'll either refund you or you can message me first i've just waffled on forever now about my etsy shops like an etsy advert it's just very difficult to explain that in an email it really is right let's do another one I'm thinking of putting, I want to put something else up there like a butterfly. But I'll go, I'll carry on collaging these. 
I'm putting the flowers on first. So yeah, that's the deal with the Etsy. If anyone knows of a better way to set your postage, but I've not found any. I've asked on forums and communities and no no one else can. The only thing they've said is why not have two Etsy shops, but I think that's a bit that's not really gonna help. You might want to buy a pack of paper and some eyelash trim. You don't want to have to go to two shops and pay two lots of postage, do you? That that's not a solution to me. So yeah. If you're a regular customer of mine, you obviously know I'll do that. If you're a new customer, yeah, it's going to put you off buying. It would put me off buying. And I think the only people who will know about this is existing Etsy sellers. I think it's all because they want us all to do postage for free. And that's just really not doable, is it? We're not Amazon, are we? Well, I'm certainly not. Oh. That's a better size for that. I like that. So yeah, that's the crack. So if you have ever bought anything from me and I have not refunded the difference, just let me know. The other thing, do you know something I've discovered recently that I didn't know? And maybe you don't know if you're in the US. Uh, I've done a Happy Mail swap with Cheryl, who's in Oklahoma. And... She was showing me all these boxes she's got for free. Free boxes. We have to buy ours. So, like, in the UK, it'll show postage and packaging charge because we have to buy the packaging. It's great if I can use recycle, but I can't always. Then there's the fact that Etsy swallow up 10% of what they've... What you pay for your postage, Etsy take 10% of that, which is rather cheeky. But, yeah... And the the oh, the answer to that always is include it in your item, but it's very difficult to include it in your item when it's different for every country. So I just put it in the P and P. Yes, yeah, so that's why we we say P and P postage and packaging. Yeah, I was, I was like, whoa! I can't believe you get free boxes to send things in. <laughs> So my postage is usually around the actual cost plus the ten percent Etsy snaffle off me. Because believe it or not, sometimes people will buy one eyelash trim off me, and if I charge the exact postage after Etsy took the fees, I'd be making a loss to send it. It's absolutely crazy. Right, that's them done. I'm having a old moan, aren't I today? Well, you don't know these things, and hopefully. Some of these things might help any new Etsy sellers. Because sometimes it's not always easy to get the info from Etsy. Yeah. They like to give the impression that they like Amazon. But they're not. We're all, well, a lot of us are. Just individual people selling from home. It's like we're not even allowed to have a day off now from answering messages. Because they've got this new silly rating in Star Seller. Yeah. If you take more than 24 hours to answer a message, you're downgraded. It's like, oh my word. Yeah. I think I might have to reincarnate myself as a robot. I need to clone myself. Yeah. Etsy would love that. But anyway, it's not. Yeah, it's a moan, but it's not a moan. It's just how it is, whatever. So I will never be a star seller on Etsy because, shock horror, I have been known to have a day off. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> yeah. Work police will come and get me. Right, I need some more of that green. Oh, what's this? No, I don't, want to, I don't think I want to use that. I want the actual fussy cut flowers to be the stars of the show. Oh, a bit of music paper. Yeah, let's put a bit of that on. I think I might have a bit down there. And I might put another bit up there. I get very hung up on collage and I just tend to like to put three items on. Don't always work out like that, does it? Let's move that page over again. Got that inked. I just really I needed to craft. I can't go a day where I don't consider cutting things out on my cricket my craft fix. It's not. I want to do some proper crafting, I want to get my hands mucky. 
I'm going to put that there, I like it. No idea if this paper is the right way up or not. Really hard to tell with music notes. I suppose someone who reads music might know, but I ain't got a blumping clue. I'm going to pop that one there. I quite like how that's gone. Right, let's find a flower that fits. I've got quite a few that fit these tags. In fact, I've got more flowers that fit them than I cut tags. Oh, I don't think those two are supposed to be joined together, but they look pretty okay. No, they're three separates. It's just not separated them when it's cut them. Oh, I like that one. Oh, I do like that one. I have that one over that side for a change. I'm going to put a little bit of ink on this one. I've inked some and not others. It's dependent on what's been in the background, really. Come on, Art Glitter. I've only had a pin out for like two minutes. Whee. Yeah, my last few videos have been, well, they've not been. Well, my last couple, they've been full of instructions, haven't they? I know I managed to waffle on my last one, but it was still making a project, weren't it? This is just... Slap it on. See what occurs. So how many we do? Have I done three? One, two, three. Yeah. I've got another one this size inked. I'm not liking that up there now. That's. I think I like it when it's got a butterfly on. I was doing far more talking than concentrating on my collage with that one, wasn't I? Yes, but that often happens with me. Now, I know what's right way up on that because I know what, uh, what that looks like and I forgot what it's called. Is it treble clef? Could be. Yeah, my kids have not really done much music at school. They didn't concentrate. Well, they were, when we were having lockdowns, they didn't have any music lessons really other than like quizzes and yeah, listening to <laughs> music. I didn't get to play anything. I don't think it'll harm them, actually. They're not musically talented children. <laughs> no. More artistic than musical. Mm, I don't like that now. I think I want to put book page on. Yes. I'll never get to the bottom of that box. I've got more scraps than I don't know what. Or more, yeah, more stuff that should have been put away, never was, and was dumped in a box. There we go. I think I want a bit of green on that one. Mind you, I've got two with green on. Let's do another one without green. That looks nice without any green. Let's get a bigger piece of the tea dyed on. I've got some bits of this piano paper hanging about. Yeah, I don't worry that it's got... I don't know. I have no idea what these marks are on piano paper. I just know they're supposed to be there. I don't know what they are or why. It's actually pianola paper, isn't it? Not piano. But we all call it piano, don't we? I do. Spare bit on here we have. My glue stick's nearly empty. I emptied one the other day. I normally have two or three on go and then they all seem to empty at once. I'll have to dig some more new ones out. I might even have to check on eBay to see whether I can still get hold of it. There we go. I like that. What we're gonna put on here then? I quite like that rose. Is it a row? It could be. You know me and flowers. It's just pretty. It's pretty or not pretty. Oh, that'd be nice. Mm, I don't know. I think it's too big for that tag, actually. And that one. Oh, where's my rose gone? Come back, rose. Yeah, I'm going to use my rose. I don't need to ink that one because it's going on a fairly light background. And then I think I'll do one more. Yeah. I nearly yawned then. <laughs> I'm so chilled now. I'm getting to do a bit of crafting. Whee. I 
I quite like that mark on there. It looks like the rose is like resting on it. So we've got three big, one little. I did cut some really teeny tiny tags out so I can put an extra little tag dangling off the top. That's going to be cute. And get another medium sized one. There we go. Look it up. No need to back these with anything either because of the colour. There we go. I really don't want to put that dark piece on. So if I put it on first, I'll get it used, won't I? Make it a bit shorter. There we go. Now I don't like that bit on it. It's going to be half of this left soon. There we go, that'll do. Just, I'm just going to put those in bin. I ought to have a little bin on my table to put them in as I go along. Then I won't end up with a box with all the really teeny tiny bits in that you couldn't possibly ever use. I've got a little bin as well. I've got one of them little wheelie bins. Teeny tiny one, yeah, big. Um, doo -doo. Yeah, I want a bit of green paper on this one. I've done two without green. Oh, look at that. That's nice. That's just a bit of tea dyed. I think it's a bit dark for this project though. Oh, I've got some pre inked music paper in my box. What else? Green, green. I've not got any green and I'm not going cracking anything else out. I'm going to just use what's here in this box. Oh, I have got some. I'm telling Fibaroonies. Oh, that's nice. I know it's a digital, but I like it. So I'm going to put a bit of green down there. Ink it, ink it if you're gonna. Come on, curl so you'll stick, mate. That's better. Yeah, you can't see me finish Sudoku now. <laughs> oh, look, that's coming out now because we're nearly at end. You've, you've got to just hold on just a little bit longer. I've only got about. Two more pieces of paper to ink at the very most. Maybe just one. Was I going to put that on? Yeah, I was. So I've got one more piece of paper to ink. I'm sure you can hold on for one more piece. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at that. The insides have come out. Well, that's going to be straight-ish because it's got like straight lines on. There we go. So let's find a little fussy cut for this. What's that one? Oh, that's nice. But that's too big for there. Way too big. We need another dinky one. Yeah, that looks okay on that. I'll put a little bit of ink around the edge. They've got like a grey edge on them, these. It's very pale. It's a bit like the Tim Holtz ones. But I really like them. They cut out so well. The file is so well created. I've tried some before. Things that aren't really... It doesn't say that they should cut out with the Cricut. And when you create the cutting file, it's just really jagged. And then you have to cut round it again anyway. So that's something to be aware of. If you're expecting to cut a lot of these digitals out with your Cricut, some will, some won't. Trial and error can be a bit expensive. So that's something I'll look for now. Uh, my Porch prints, a lot of her fussy cuts do cut out with the Cricut as well, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they do. Right. 
that's you. So I think we need some little flutterbys, we need a little tag, we need some fluff in the top, and I think then we're done. Right, let's look for little flutterbys. I've got some new butterflies that I need to print out from Jane and I haven't yet. That one my to-do list for today and I never got to it. That's far too big. Have I got any small enough? That is the question. These are very dinky little flowers, aren't they? Hmm. You're too orange. You really are too orange. Yes, I don't have enough little flowers. Little butterflies, I mean. Do they have to be little? Can we have Digby butterflies? That one looks nice, actually, on there. You can stay. We like you. Oh, I cut some little sideways ones out that I don't normally use. I think I'm going to. Yes. That's an idea. Oh, you are going to go perfect on that side, mind you. You're dwarfing that. What about the rose? That's better. And as for you two, I ain't going to find butterflies small enough for you two. Really not. Oh, I'm gone, actually. All hope is not lost. I have a little tin that is labelled up as tiny ephemera. Let's see if there's any... Oh, I hope it's not glaring. Have we got any teeny tiny ones? Oh, what's these? Oh, <laughs> no pink glitter. I don't think so. Don't know what you got in there. Oh, I've got some that are made from book pages, etc. But now I've got book page underneath, so they're not going to be any good. Got that one that's fussy cut. No, I don't like it. It needs to be an actual butterfly, doesn't it? And as far as butterflies that small go, I don't think I have any. So these might have to have something different on. What else have we got that's small? Hmm. Let's Tim Holtz, last resort. Let's get Timothy out. There's a teeny weeny chance I'm going to have some teeny weeny ones left. But it is a teeny weeny chance, I'll tell you. Feed the crawlers. That might be about the smallest I've got left and that is still a bit big and I've just lost it anyway. Let's lift these up because all little ones really do end up in the bottom. I'll have to put a label on these instead or something. Oh, look at that. It's a little round circle with a tiny butterfly on. That's cute. Didn't even know that was a butterfly when I picked it up. Oh, we've got a... No, I don't like you. You're not appropriate for the project. No matter how well prepared you think you are with all your stuff, you always end up scratching about for that one perfect little thing, don't you? And we don't know what that perfect thing is half at time. We're just scratching about looking. There we go. Check a few more little ones in. No, it's a no from me. <laughs> it's just, I'm still looking. It's like, I don't want to give up. Please. Butterflies. <gasps> oh, you look. Hmm. You're not too big, but you're not too small. We'll try your out for size, mate. Put Timothy ones away. I might even have to buy some more of them. It's been a year. <laughs> so, yeah, I could do. I think I'm going to go for it, rather the butterfly being rather larger than the flower. I think it's got to be done. Now, where did that one go? I think he'll look good if I pop him there. Yeah, I'm not going to ink round the edge. I'm just going to pop it on like that. I think that'll do me. Just got in my head, they all need butterflies on now. Ooh. I don't think that were a craft lunch. I think that were a technical lunch. Some of my wires falling. Yeah, I like that. I think that looks good. He's going to look really good there, so he's going on now. Before I change my mind. don't even want to ink him. He's not needing it. Yeah. I like that. I've gone for blue butterflies on all but that one, haven't I? Ooh, have you seen this tag with that butterfly? Go for it. I'm going to fussy cut a butterfly off a tag.
And yeah, you can do it. That was just fate, that, weren't it? I didn't even know that tag was there. And what has it got on it? A perfect little flutterby. Yes, I've got all colours and sizes of butterflies from Jane. I think she's got some of them available in her Etsy shop already, so I will link her. She's got some lovely digitals. I mean, since she's got a lot of single and ones that are two or three sheets. I mean, you don't always want a great big pack. I always make the mistake of buying a full junk journal kit, printing the whole thing out, and using about 10% of it. I've learnt now I only print out the bits I want. Oh, look at him, he's perfect. He's gorgeous. So cute and tiny. Eee. So we did it, that was so lucky. You're going on there. I well, did actually cut the feelers out on these, wow. I think these sideways butterflies look a bit weird without any feelers, I don't know why. Don't know why that is, I just think they do. So that's three. Who's not stuck down? You're not stuck down, mate. So we're all stuck down apart from this one. Ooh, come back. I'm so glad you didn't fall all the way around. If you'd have been a bit of toast, you really would have fell glue side down or butter side down. So you're going about there. We like. So we've got five cute little tags. Quite like them. And I'm going to pop some of these through the holes. I'm not even finishing these off with eyelets or anything. I don't think they need it. Oh, some of these. Because this teeny tiny little hole has been cut on my cricket. It's very teeny tiny. And <laughs> they're not popped out. I don't know what to put on tags. I might just leave them blank for now. And it's like I've not put words on or anything. I can decide if I want to put any on later when I decide what project they're going to go in. So I'll definitely put tags on the big ones. I don't think I'm going to put them on the teeny tiny ones. So I'm just going to need three of these. Whee. There we go. And I'm going to put some eyelash trim on and tie it with some of this really fine twine. Right, where's my eyelash trim gone? Here it is. I've just grabbed a selection of pale colours. So let's decide who's having what. You're blue, but do you want blue trim? I don't think so. What about pink? No. What about that light blue? Hmm. I might just use light blue or cre cream. Oh, let's have this cream. Cream sparkle. I, like, I always end up using this. It is my favourite. So I'm going to pop a little bit of trim through on each one. And then I'm going to tie it on with some twine and add the little tag. I'll just it moved from it fluffy and girly after doing loads of projects that have been really grungy and had yeah a lot of inking. So I wanted something a little bit more soft and feminine. It was a big butterfly count this weekend, do believe in UK. We've not done it this year because I didn't know it was happening until after it happened. You're supposed to log all the butterflies you see. Um, is it? I know I said it's RSPB doing it. Yeah. I don't know. If, I don't know actually which organisation does it. If I had a memory, I'd know exactly. But as we know, I don't have one of those. I can't get this out now. Don't know where the end is. So let's just pull it out and wing it. 
sort that out later. <laughs> right, teeny tiny tags all piled up here somewhere. Where did you go? So I'm just going to, it should thread through. I hope this hole is big enough to get this through. There we go. Just. And then I'm going to, yeah, tie that round there. Yeah, cross it over at back and turn it back over and tie it at front. So you've got your tag at front and your little bow on your string. Should work anyway. We'll see any second. Might look like I'm just <laughs> scrabbling in the dark. No, I don't like it. It's too sticky outy. Let's rethink that. It would be good if I could thread the eyelash trim through the little tag, but I think the hole might be a bit small, so I might have to redo the hole with my cropper dial. As I've reduced the size of these on my, yeah, on my Cricut, I've not really thought that I've also reduced size at all. Let's see whether it will. I'll be surprised if it does, to be quite honest. Oh, it's good to be surprised. I've got to put that on a small tag. Like I said, I weren't going to, so. I'm just faffing now. But sometimes it's nice to have a faff just to get it exactly as you want. And I've got it in my head how I want this to look. And that's how I want it to look. And that's how I've got to do it, yeah. So I'll tie the twine round now. That's better. So that is how that is going to be. I'm going to tie that one in a little bow. I can't remember last time I put eyelash trim on a tag. I do tend to use it. I tend to use the Christmassy colours at Christmas, the autumn colours in autumn, and then I totally forget to use the pastels in summer. Isn't it weird how we get certain things in our heads and this is for that, that's for that, and nothing else will do. So I'll just snip that off. And that's it, I quite like that. You could put a little message or anything on that little tag if you wanted to. I'm not going to make you watch me tie the whole lot. <laughs> it's just took me five minutes to do one. So there's my tags anyway. You'll see them tied in the thumbnail. So you've seen how to tie one. And that's my five little tags. That is my crafting. Yeah, craving satisfied. I hope you enjoyed that. Like I say, not rocket science that one. More of a craft along than a tutorial. But we did plenty of waffling, didn't we? We did. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.